last legislative session, Governor Doug Burgum signed House Bill 1254 into law. The bill restricts gender-affirming health care for minors. A doctor and several families sued the state, saying this law infringes on their rights. A judge has already shot down an earlier request to temporarily block the ban while the case plays out. But plaintiffs are giving it another go. Bella Kraft has more. Attorneys fighting for and against legislation restricting health care for transgender adolescents were in court on Friday, debating whether the bill is constitutional in North Dakota. Dr. Luis Casas spoke about how House Bill 1254 has affected him as an endocrinologist who treats hormone-related problems. He says before he prescribes puberty blockers or other hormone treatments to transgender kids, there is a lengthy process. First, someone like a clinical psychologist diagnoses a patient with gender dysphoria. Then, patients come to him to seek medication. He says this bill has done more harm than good. But now they're becoming everything that they believe they're not. And so that is that does create a psychological harm um, to them. Defense attorneys say the bill is actually protecting kids from making harmful and irreversible decisions to their bodies. They also say it was Dr. Casas' personal interpretation of the law that determined whether he would provide health care to transgender kids. I, I can't take the risk. I can't take the risk of losing my license and not being able to practice. Um, so so I, I told them I was not going to do it. So this was a decision made by you, based on your interpretation of the law? Based on the interpretation of the law, I told them I would not practice in North Dakota. Dr. Costa said parents or legal guardians are always involved in the process, and he doesn't prescribe hormone treatments for transgender kids who have not started puberty. He says since he's moved his practice to Minnesota, not all of his patients are able to travel to receive care. He told the court hormone treatments for transgender kids improve their mental health. Are you aware of any research that suggests that adolescents who receive gender-affirming care are at lesser risk of self-harm or suicide? There is. The defense says oftentimes transgender kids are receiving separate mental health help and health care, and it can't be determined which one of those is the cause of mental health improvement. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Kraft, reporting for your news leader. South Central District Judge Jackson Lofgren will now decide if the law will be blocked while the cases go to trial. The date for that has not been set.